This is the Union 2101 five lever mortise lock. It's not a British standard lock, there's no hard plate on here, um, but it uh, has five levers and if you look at the key, you can see the key profile there, operating the bellies of the levers and pulling the bolt back. And what you will notice is the profile on the key is matched by the profile on the bottom of those levers. So what we can do potentially with this lock, there's no anti-pick on this lock, so it's not a particularly hard one to open. But what we can do is we can put the wire in and we can feel along the bottom of those levers and we can go by the angle on this puck to determine roughly what we've got in there. So the greater that angle, the higher the lift, the lever, and the lower that angle, the lower the lift, the lever. So almost immediately I get a good idea of what I need to do to get this lock open. But because there's no anti-pick on this, um, normally it's a case of picking up the tension. This is the GJ Locks uh, Universal Gauge Pick, the new one. And what I'm going to do is just apply a medium tension to this um, handle here. And I'm just gonna go backwards and forwards through this pack. And what you will hear is as I lift, you will hear clicks. And you will see the levers start to bind and stay up. So lever five, lever four, lever three are all clicking. Lever two and one are not ready yet to bind. Five, four, three, two and one are still loose. Five, four, three. And you can see they're all tapping now, so they've all lifted up to their true gates. Let's try lever two, that's bound. That's gone up, let's try lever one. Lever one is bound. But let's work through the lock again. Five, four, three, and there we go. We got the lock open. And that is what's going on inside this lock when you try and open it uh, with a curtain pick.